Welcome to Beyond the Beef, where we not only talk about business problems, we talk about business solutions. I'm Bob. And I'm James. And we're corporate facilitators with a company called Sequent Learning Networks. We travel around the globe and every day we hear companies talk about problems and people within those companies talk about problems. We want to help people move beyond those problems and get to the solutions. So, James. Yes, sir. What's your beef today? Today, my beef, Bob, is that everyone is a critic. <laughs> That's true. Everyone's a critic. I mean, I've been guilty of it as well when I say everyone, but yeah. I feel like everything that goes on, whether it's work, whether it's life, just living life with family, everybody's a critic. And it always tends to be negative. Yeah. You know, it always the tends little to be people things. are focusing on those little negative things. Yeah, yes, yes. And yes. I tend to have a bit of a problem with that. <laughs> I, I am a bit of an Italian, so I have a little bit of a temper. Ah, I have a problem with some of that sometimes. Because you're insecure? Yeah, or... well, that's a little bit of it, yeah, too. That's, that's a little bit of it, too. But that's that's what I'd like to beef about today, Bob. <laughs> Everyone seems to be a critic. But it is true that, you know, I, I, I joke about the insecurity, but I think that's where it comes from, right? Is that... When somebody else has done something mm -hmm. and, and you want to pick out the little flaws, I think part of you might be saying, I wish I could have done that. Sure, <laughs> Do you think sure. that there's a little bit of that in there? Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. It's, you know, if, if they could, they wish they could, you know, they wish they could be in that scenario or a little bit of envy it, maybe a yeah. part of that as well. Sure. But then there's another side of this thing because I, I mean, I think I've been accused every once in a while of being a critic, you know, I probably, <laughs> well, <laughs> Fallen into that category a couple of times, <laughs> but <laughs> but I think I think what happens when you are a critic is that you're actually you know there's probably a little insecurity and there's probably some of that stuff, but I think you're actually trying to also make people make people better, right? Sure. Or, or or say things that are going to make people sure. better. And I think about when we were making this video, mm -hmm. right? The first couple of episodes that we did, everything else. You remember when we screened it? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty what, sure there was smoke coming out of both of our ears. Yeah, areas. what happened? I mean, you yeah. know, the, the, tell, tell the audience here what that was like. <laughs> well, I'll tell you that we were on cloud nine when we screened it. Oh, man. Right? We, we, were, the, the we office, were stars. Showed up at the office nice and early. Yeah. Right? I was like, entering the city. I'm good. We're good. We're ready to go. Yeah. We're going to see this video, right? Show up and we screen it. And as soon as it's done, the done? As soon as, well, yeah. I guess. <laughs> First good, 10 good seconds. Point. Good, good point. <laughs> Very good point. If there was criticism right away. Right away. Right away. Oh, you should have done this, or you should have done that, or you should change this, or mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, shoot it a little different. Or you, you shouldn't know? wear purple. Shouldn't wear. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, so here's that situation for you viewers out there. Um, we're, we screened it, right? We showed it. We went down. We we're showing people. We're getting really excited. And then. An individual comes and watches, says it's great, says, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, I, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, nothing personal, I believe is what was Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Can I just but, make one little but, comment? Yeah. <laughs> but don't ever wear purple again, I believe yeah. is what was said. <laughs> make one yeah. little comment. You look like crap. Yeah. It's not your color, I believe, were <laughs> the actual what words that we heard there. <laughs> so... You know, it's a little, you know, it's a little difficult to hear from me. It's a little So I try to stay a little calm and some things like this. But I do find that that negative criticism is really um, a lot easier for people to give for yeah. some reason. You know, um, that, crit that, that constructive, as we say, sometimes constructive, sometimes not. Criticism tends to be the more commonplace when things like this are taking place. But then on the other side of things, like when we're doing our workshops and we're teaching people and everything else, we have to give people a lot of criticism. Of course. You know, we have to give them, and we call it coaching. Yeah, right. <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, we have to give a lot of criticism to people. And it could be frustrating when people don't take that criticism well, and many of them don't. Sure. And I think that kind of comes back around to the solution because it's really hard to hear the criticism, it particularly is. when you put your heart into something. We were hours on these videos and then somebody says, purple's not purple's your color. Not color right? But you know, I hate to say this and you know, don't take offense, but purple's probably not, not your color. So the, <laughs> you, I'm gonna let that sit the for thing a while. Of it is, think about it. The thing of it is, and that's what happened. Yeah. When we actually got all those criticisms and those little nitpicks and everything else, we let it sit for about 48 hours and the way I approached it, I think you did the same thing, sure. is I kind of put myself into the situation that I put people in every day in our workshops. 
And I said, you know, hey, these guys have just given us some constructive advice. Sure. What it really said is that the original video wasn't completely resonating with everybody. And although we didn't have to take every single little piece that they were saying, we had to look at the big picture and say, what's not connecting? Right. And should we go back to the drawing board and make some changes? Sure. And sure. we did. And then the result is... Well, this. this. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it worked. But I, way better than what we originally started Absolutely. with, right? You so, know, one quick thing I'm thinking about, though, Bob, is, you know, there's... There's getting that criticism back, but there's also yeah. delivering it because we all give criticism. Mm -hmm. We all give it. So just a quick thing to think about if you were that person giving that criticism is just be careful how you give that criticism. Yeah. Typically, it's always best to give criticism that will resonate, that, that people will hear when, you know, if there's something positive, if you can find a, a, you know, a positive, also mention a positive in doing that. We both do that within our workshops. I've seen you do it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I really liked when you did this. Next time, you may want to try to adjust this or shift this. And it really does work well with the psyche, and it is more accepted Absolutely. on the moment at that time when it's given as well. And I have not always done that. And sure. that's something that clearly throughout my career I've, I've had to do more and more. And honestly, you know, moving from a leader in a corporation to right. a workshop facilitator, I had to learn that. I mean, because anybody who's worked for me in my corporate job... I'm sure they would say, oh my God, this is the worst topic he could be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> He's the worst critic in the world. And they'd be completely right. When I moved to having to actually coach people and, and do this for a living, I started to realize when you just deliver the criticism, like you say, it sure. doesn't land sure. and it's not going to work. Right. So I think that's a really, really good solution to start leaving people with is, yeah, be careful how you deliver the criticism, but then also don't just reject it because someone's giving you criticism. Just because they haven't put all the work that you did into whatever it is they're criticizing doesn't mean that their critique doesn't have merit. And if you can kind of sort past the emotions and the personal nature of it and get down to why something wasn't connecting with somebody, you could actually take that criticism and turn it into a real positive. So I think that's a really great way to leave this. What do you think? I agree. I think it's fantastic. Fantastic. Well, if you have something that is on your mind, something you like to beef about, please don't forget to leave it in the comments below. Let us know. We'll try and address it on a future episode. And until then, I'm Bob. And I'm James. And this is Beyond the Beef. Thanks for joining. Thank you. See if it works from this angle. Well, from there. Which one am I pushing? The red one. Okay. No, the. It just needs a different type of battery. Should have bought it in the city. I thought we had it licked. <laughs> yeah, good.